接下来我们再来目光转向这个发生枪击案的纽敦市，重点来看一下。这里呢可以说是风景优美、历史悠久，而且呢，此次枪击案的大部分的遇难者都是桑迪胡克小学的学生，他们的年龄只有五至十岁。那么灾祸来临的时候，他们惊慌逃避；当危险过去之后，孩子们说很庆幸自己还活着。So then we got to the firehouse and we sat in our classes and we're all really happy that we're all alive. When we were gone doing morning meeting, we we heard like shots and everybody went on the ground and Miss Martin just closed the door and we went to the corner. 枪击案发生以后，胡克小学被彻底封锁，孩子们生死不明，家长们心急如焚。Um, you don't know the details of that violence. You don't know the condition of your child, and you can't do anything to immediately help them. Or protect them. That is a it is a powerless and terrifying experience. There were three children that came out. Uh, one of them was had a very bloody face. It was very it was a very violent scene. And there were two other ones that they were, you know, they were in the arms of a state trooper. They did not move. Their face was very pale. Um, we just ran like every other parent, and we found out we couldn't get to the school. But you know, fortunately, you know the fire department, Sandy Hook fire department's nearby. They shuttled everyone in, including the kids, into 